Hello YouTube, um, Troy from Tech TV here. Well, that would depend on which channel you're watching this from, wouldn't it? I originally had intended for this tutorial to be somewhat of a podcast with my friend uh, Josh from Tech TV helping. Unfortunately, though, he couldn't be online in time, so um, I'll have to do it solo. So um, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your XB reboot installation on your JTAG console uh, to Freeboot 0.03. That's 8955 to 9199. So um, you're going to need a few things, of course. You're going to need Freeboot Toolbox, which you'll have to Google. Check the name there and then Google it. You'll find what you're looking for. Excelus. I will provide a link to that because it is technically not an illegal application. And here you will need Flash 360 on a USB stick. And you will need, of course, XEX menu on your Xbox 360 hard disk. As you can see here, if I go into um, Media Express, System Settings, Console, System Info, I'm in fact running Dashboard 2.0.8955.0. First off, we're going to install Xdelus or Zealous or however you pronounce that darn thing. And to do that is very simple. We just need to. Um, Get XEX menu running on your R360, which I'm sure you've got already. And then we'll need Flash 360 on a USB stick, which as you can see, I have right here. Again, I can't link you to Flash 360, but a quick Google search should return everything you need. Um, so what we're going to do here is we will extract this folder right here. And inside we'll have a collection of files. What we're going to focus on today is xl-2f.bin. Let's uh, put that out on the desktop. And uh, we'll rename this file. So we're going to rename this to upd slot 0.bin. And we're going to throw that into the USB stick. Next, we'll connect the stick to R360 and start up XEX menu. Wonderful. Hit the right bumper, defaults.xex, and we'll want to press button B to write update areas of rebooter. So I'll hit B. And button A, write upd slot 0.bin, which is XL, so I'll press A. Found upd slot 0.bin on USB drive. Press A button to begin. Okay, I'll press A. And the flash has been completed. Press any button to continue. Hit the back button to return to main menu and back button to shut down. Count down for 3, 2, 1, 360 should now shut down. When you reboot the console like I'm doing now, I can't stress enough the importance of disconnecting it from the mains for about 10 seconds before continuing. Also, um, a quick warning for you. If you leave your USB stick attached to the console while you reboot, be prepared for a one red light. Now, I'm sure most people would sink through their chair or jump out of their skins thinking they've destroyed their console, but this is actually just because you have a um, slot zero dot bin file on your stick. And it's kind of causing the console to, for lack of a better term, mess up. Anyhow, now that we've updated to Excelis, the console is now ready for the rest of the tutorial. So let's get going. We just need to head over to um, games in here, game library, and then we will start XEX menu. So we'll hit the right bumper button, and you can see we're on USB 0 here. And I'll just go ahead and run default.xex. And now we are in Flash 360. So pretty simple, press button X to back up current NAND file, I'll hit the X button. Press A to save NAND file, I'll press A. You can see it's now dumping. Shouldn't take more than about 10-15 seconds. It's quite fast. Rather sad when you consider it takes 45 minutes to dump your NAND over LPT, but oh well. Press any button to continue. Press the back button to go to the main menu. And we'll hit the back button again to get back to XEX menu. Or the dashboard apparently. Um, so now we're going to take that dump we've just made on the USB stick and uh, copy it over to the PC or Mac as it is here. There we go, Untitled 1. 
and there is our flash flash dmp.bin I'll copy that in there and I'll eject that for the sake of space saving so um, now we have our NAND dump we just need our CPU key next this is quite simple to get all we need to do is hold down that X button we'll turn off the console and now we need to reboot it with the eject key while it is connected to an ethernet connection on the same network as your PC. And here the console has finally booted. Here we have our CPU key, DVD key, and our web server. So let's open up Safari here and we'll navigate to the IP address that it gave us. So let's go to 192.168.2.11. And we have Excelis 1.0. Let's go copy our CPU key from there. And close Safari and uh, we'll shrink that for now so we're gonna open up a uh, freeboot tool now and paste in CPU key right there and then we're going to just um, check file name destination upd flash dot bin dump directory because that's where it should be ending up on our USB stick and um, dash launch 1.0 patches uh, this is pretty much dependent on if you want to be able to um, use a uh, freestyle or boot into an application by default so uh, I'll, I'll just leave that as it is there we'll deal with that later that's pretty much everything we need to do here we'll just hit generate freeboot and uh, it'll ask us for our original dump we'll just head to computer and USB drive should be there flash dmp.bin open xenon motherboard CB1921 Make sure this is in fact the correct information. If not, then you're heading towards a bricked JTAG. Click yes. Preboot has been properly generated. Final bin location, UPD flash dot bin. Click okay. And we can go ahead and close this. So next up, we're going to actually go and flash our um, new freeboot image to our 360. Now there are two possible ways to go about flashing our UPD flash dot bin file to our Xbox 360. The first is to use Excelis. Uh, if you have bad blocks in your NAND image, you should definitely go with Excelis because Flash 360 will make a mess of it. If you don't, then Flash 360 will do just fine. I'm going to go and um, open up Degraded here. And in Degraded, I will open the NAND file. Well, making sure that you have your uh, 1BL key and your file system set first. So uh, open. Okay, wonderful. So in my NAND, there are no bad blocks. If you did have a bad block, it would literally say bad block at X sector. So in my case, I can go right ahead and flash this with Flash 360. So let's go and uh, head back to 360 here. I'm going to turn off my console and now I'll start to back up normally. Finally, we'll connect the USB flash drive and head back to XEX menu. hit the right bumper, run default.xex, hit the A button to write upd flash top into NAND, press B to overwrite current key vault and config blocks, press A to begin. It will now write freeboot to the NAND. Okay, it's completed. Press any button to continue, press the back button, press the back button to shut down, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, zero, the console will now cut off, and you'll disconnect it from the power for approximately 10 seconds. Then start the console once more without the USB drive connected. But when your console first boots, it's going to be outputting only through composite, so you're going to need to connect the composite cable. As you can see here, my upgrade went perfectly. If it turned out that you had bad blocks in your NAND and couldn't use Flash 360, using Excel is very simple. Just start your 360 using the eject key and connect the USB flash drive. Excels will detect the flash drive and the UPD flash dot bin file and automatically begin writing it to NAND. And that's all there is to it. Your upgrade should now be completed. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe if you found this useful and I'll see you next time.